Hey everyone, this is Nicole Glass and welcome to my balcony. In this video, we're gonna talk about a subject that I was really unsure of if I should even talk about this at all. And that is coronavirus stock photography. A lot of media outlets rely on stock platforms to find suitable images that will illustrate this pandemic. And you can take photos that illustrate what's going on without endangering yourself and without putting yourself at risk. So that's what we're gonna focus on in this video. Now, I personally took a lot of photos and videos that illustrated this pandemic back in February, back before there were even any cases in my area because I was following the news and I had a feeling that this would spread here. And when there were at some point three confirmed cases here, that's when things started shutting down and stores and businesses started closing. I definitely took photos of signs and everything that illustrated all of those closures. Now, at this point, I would not advise anybody go outside to try to do some stock photography, but maybe you already have some photos on your phone from a grocery store or a closure of some sort that would still be worth uploading at this time. But assuming you don't have any of that, here are a few concept photos that you can safely create to illustrate what is happening. Number one, homeschooling. Homeschooling is a big issue right now with all of the school closures across the world. If you yourself are a parent, you can definitely take some photos that illustrate the concept of homeschooling. And if you don't want to upload photos and videos that show your kids' faces, that is totally understandable. You can easily take photos and videos illustrating this concept for stock without showing their faces because it's all about the angles. Number two, personal protective gear. Now, if you're one of those lucky few that has hand sanitizer or toilet paper, I myself only have one tiny bottle of Purell, then you can definitely look at those objects and see how can I incorporate them into a stock photography shoot. And if you live with someone, you can use that person as a model to illustrate concepts with these items. Concepts like hoarding, or maybe showing someone doing a deep cleaning and having the news on in the background. If you look on Shutterstock, there are countless images of people cleaning, but how can your cleaning photos be relevant to the times? You know, that's why I like, think about what's in the background. Maybe somebody's giving a press conference in the background of your scene, something like that. Are there photos of people cleaning with Donald Trump giving a press conference in the background? You be the judge. Number three making masks. If you or your partner are doing this, then definitely document the process with your photography. My mother is actually spending a lot of time sewing masks for people in her town in Germany. And I know there's a lot of people just like that who are doing that for their areas. Number four, staying healthy, boosting your immunity, taking vitamins, working out at home, meditating. These are all things that people are focusing their time and attention on right now as they try to boost their immunity and increase their well-being. And you can definitely take stock photos of these things. Of course, there are a lot of these types of photos on places like Shutterstock and Adobe Stock already. But if you keyword your photos in a very intelligent way, there is a good chance you can get those photos discovered. Definitely check out this video here, which I made that talks about the power of keywords. Number five, scenes from empty cities. Now, scenes from empty cities are probably in pretty high demand right now, but you definitely have to be careful with this one. I definitely don't want anyone to go out and get themselves sick in exchange for a few dollars on Shutterstock. But if you and your spouse, for example, are driving somewhere already, like let's say you're just driving to the grocery store and you can safely take some stock photos out of your car window, then by all means, document the empty streets. If you're in the passenger seat, that is. Don't be doing photography while behind the wheel. But again, I don't want anyone to say that Nicole Glass suggests going out to document, you know, the pandemic, because I definitely don't suggest that. What I suggest is uh, staying safe. And finally, ask yourself, what am I doing right now myself that I wasn't doing before? For some people, maybe that means giving themselves a haircut, which I need to do. If you're doing that, document it. Your everyday life might seem boring to you, but there may be opportunities in the mundane. Now, many of these concept photos that I mentioned would do well with a person in them. And if you live alone, you might be thinking, well, I have no one to photograph, but that's okay. You can always photograph yourself. Check out this video if you wanna learn more about 
photographing yourself. Now, being creative and taking photos is one way that will help you stay in a better mind space. So I highly encourage everybody to turn off the news for a little while and just focus on doing something creative and maybe for you, that's photography. And not all of your photography has to be for stock. Some of your photography can literally just be for your soul. And if it makes your soul happy to photograph random little things in your house or the squirrels that show up on your front porch, then by all means, photograph those things. As for me, I'm spending hours and hours of my day, you know, tending to my balcony garden and photographing every square inch of this place and, you know, documenting the whole process of my seeds growing into plants. And, you know, those are not photos I'm gonna be selling. Those are photos that make me happy. So I hope you have something like that too. Subscribe if you're new here, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, be well, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.